we drove for about three hours um, up the mountains and along the Dead Sea oh, through a blizzard. <laughs> um, up to it was raining in the, through the mountains, and we it were was snowing. Well, it was okay. It was blizzarding on the very top. Then, as we were driving down to get down elevation to the Dead Sea, it was storming, like rainstorming. Supposedly, there were risks of mudslides. So that was awesome. Yes, but well, we made it to our hotel in the Dead Sea. It's absolutely beautiful here. We've got an amazing infinity pool that overlooks the Dead Sea, um, and we are loving it. And we're gonna sit here for the morning and then head to Amman after that morning. So we just left our hotel at the Dead Sea and drove about 3,000 feet up into the mountains and just made it to Mount Nabu, uh, which is like a memorial site uh, Moses. And I don't really know exactly what all they have here. I think they have a church in his name. church was built in probably like the 4th or 5th century. It's been reconstructed and remodeled over the years, obviously. They have really cool uh, mosaics inside that date back over a thousand years, I think even over 1,500 years, um, some of them. Uh, they were original to the original church and um, they have a lookout overseeing the Dead Sea and in the background you can see Israel and Jericho. Um, which it's believed that uh, Moses himself at one point was up here and this is kind of where he saw the promised land that eventually the Israelites would end up in. To the city center of Amman. We are at the citadel. Um, we would have, I would have recorded driving a little bit more through the city, but we had to focus on where we were going. A little bit crazy. Yeah, it's a very dense city, um, and directional are kind of optional here, and lanes are kind of optional here as well. You have to be aggressive. You do have to be aggressive, and it's just kind of. Um, First come, first serve, I guess, kind of. These up here is, are absolutely spectacular. Um, it's pretty much right in the center of Amman, and you got pretty much 360 panoramic panoramic view of all the surrounding districts within Amman, and it's just, it's really cool to see. that uh, we had our drone not that I think that you'd probably be able to fly it up here but uh, we were it still super would be... bummed about not being able to bring the drone yes we weren't able to bring the drone first off because they're pretty much forbidden not allowed in Egypt just because of all the terrorist issues that they have there I think in Jordan they allow them here but uh, since we're going to Egypt after this we didn't want to risk losing it or getting taken away or anything like that <laughs> All right, we're just finishing up touring the Citadel in Amman, um, and we're about to head back to the airport. 
to head to Egypt. Unfortunately, we, we didn't have really any time to spend in Amman other than see the Citadel. It looks like it would be a cool city to explore, but yeah, I mean, we didn't really have a lot of time here. We've only been in Jordan for three days. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy it, though, because we've done we've so much. It feels a like lot we, of stuff. we've been here for way longer than three days. Um, but that's usually how these things go, and Egypt will probably be the same. We're there for a little over three days. And we're excited. We can see my cousin and his wife as they live in Cairo, and it will be our first time in Egypt. So we're excited to do that. But for now, Jordan, it's been real. Thank you.